Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix, I'm your host Coslix, and today we're going to be going over 10 of the best true combos in Brawlhalla, it is currently 2023. Uh, this video, I'm not going to order what is exactly the best, if you want to figure out what's the best, let me know down below your thoughts on which combo in this video is your favorite, the best combo, let's get a debate in the comments. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into this. First combo is Sword Downlight Recovery. Anyone that knows this combo, you can either do it with a jump or you can do it without a jump, as you can kind of see here. So as you can see, it's Downlight, Jump Recovery, or Downlight, go together, go towards them, and then Recovery. This is consistently a true combo if you're not trash like me. Wow, I am messing it up. There we go. <laughs> I haven't, I, I don't play sword, but uh, I do know all the combos. So this combo is really great at getting stage control. Uh, it's especially really good because it's putting the user in a really big disadvantage state where you can kind of continue with a neutral air or you can take stage control and then they're forced to use options and land. It's just a really great positioning and you'll see Meg D and a lot of the top sword players go for this. Um, also, this combo will just like put you in a better position than Downlight Sarah in early health, where you kind of don't have as much stage control. And same with Downlight Down Air. Downlight Down Air, you can follow up a bit easier, but I'd say Downlight Recovery, it kills. You get a bit better positioning. You can still follow up with the Nair. And I'm seeing top sword players go for this combo over others like most of the time guys like meg d guys like java and whatnot i just see them go for daylight recovery slightly more than the others recently and that's why this combo is on the list next up the second combo we got lance we got sidelight neutral air so this combo is really consistent at all health it's really good one little note you do have to hold forward slightly if you want this combo to work every single time if you hold straight up or if you like hold like too far forward and you just go too far in an early health they can technically dodge out of it but you're not going to see that very often. This combo is extremely consistent, very easy to, in to input, and it's insanely good for 2v2. Just a little setup combo that your teammate can follow up off. You can kind of go into down air and you can kind of you get really good positioning to even like jump Sarah if they're a bit later in health. Or you could like side light in there, GCN sig if you want to read and whatnot. Or like there there's tons of options like a GC side sig. It's just really good positioning for a Lance player. And the fact that this combo is so consistent, does great damage. Uh, you can even follow it up with a, an end light if there's a soft platform or two dodge frames um, without a soft platform. Uh, this combo kind of has it all. Uh, that's why it's number two on this list. The next combo on this list, the third combo, is Blaster's Downlight Recovery. So it's a downlight and then a dash jump recovery. This is a much tighter input. As you can see, I'm kind of failing it sometimes. So please practice this combo. This combo is phenomenal for killing early. Blaster's Recovery kills insanely early, especially on maps like Small Brawl when you're on a high attack character like that, like this. Oh gosh. This health, like, honestly could kill. It does. Oh, I'm trash. Yeah, I, I don't play blasters. There we go. Yeah, the fact that this kills 120. They're in orange health. I'm trash. 110! Do you see? He is in light orange. There we go. This is light orange health killing. This combo kind of speaks for itself. The only if clause is the downlight can be hard to input or like hard to space and whatnot because you're kind of, you're standing still. It's quite an easy option to punish for a lot of players, but this downlight has a really big hitbox. Um, and yeah, also just the combo is kind of tough to input unless you're a bit more of an experienced player. Even someone like myself who I don't play blasters a lot. I'm not hitting this combo 10 times in a row true right now, but it is consistent to so definitely practice this. If you do it in the air, it's like, I think you can get it true. Wow, I'm like messing it up. I think you can with a chase dodge. I'm not totally for sure on the input. I think it's very situational. I would recommend watching the blasters guide, um, but yeah, I'm trash. But yeah, this combo is insanely good at killing, and that's why it's on the list. Next on the list is Boots. We got Downlight Side Air. So the reason this combo is so good is because of how Sarah is designed itself. So basically, Sarah, you can change it with active input. You can choose on that. You can choose to hold forward, so I'll kind of show you. You can choose to hold forward, and then you're in a position to kind of follow up, or you can hold back and just get stage control. So especially if you're in early health, holding forward's really good, because you can actually just kind of keep comboing. And this is like, I don't have a dodge now, but that, that's kind of how you hit zero to death. Same with like, 
if they're in like orange health, if you want to hit like a quick zero to death or something, they're in like yellow. Downlight Sarah, then you get the GC downlight, and then yeah. And you can kind of keep going and whatnot. It just kind of sets up really well this forward version for stringing. So, again, you can hit these longer combos in early health. Or you can kind of choose to kill in later health. Like, if they got a ton of health and whatnot. D-Light Sarah is just, it can kind of do it all. So, D-Light and then Sarah and then boom. That doesn't kill 150, but like 170 probably. Yeah. So you can kind of pick and choose. You can be like Sarah by holding. I, I, <laughs> so you can pick and choose. You can delight Sarah by holding forward, and then you can kind of keep comboing and whatnot. Or you can like uh, hold back if you just want to kill. This combo does it all for boots, so uh, th that's why this combo is on the list. Uh, the fact that like you can change how the combo works without changing the move. It's so good. <laughs> okay, the next combo on this list is actually Katar's side light dash down light. Sometimes you don't have to dash if it's like really early in health, but I just recommend dashing. It's pretty consistent. And the reason why this combo is on the list is it puts you in such a good position. You can keep hitting down lights. You can like, if they don't have a dodge, go for a recovery. You can kind of go for a read. Down light, nair, I missed it there. But like down light, down light, and say you're just in a really nice position where your opponent is slightly in the air, and you can choose between grounded options or you can choose between aerial options, like a recovery and whatnot. Um, so just the positioning alone is so good and makes Qatar's advantage state so lethal, despite the weapon being like tiny and low damage output. And it's consistent, it works across almost all health. See how consistent this is. Now I'm getting a one frame. There we go, it's true, I just was misinputting it. Like, look at the health. Now in deep red, it, it stops working. You can choose to keep going with a loop. Um, it just, side light, down light though, is the bread and butter what's making this combo even happen. So this combo, one of the best combos in the game, and it's very consistent, just gotta practice the input. There I'm hitting it to one dodge frame because I'm trash, but there we go. It's a bit easier earlier in health, and it gets harder and harder the further side light hits them away. But as you can see, I'm getting a pretty consistent there. And yeah, it's just a great setup tool. Leads into so many options that work in all health. One of the best and most dynamic combos in the game. Just so, so good. And that's why it's on the list. Next on the list, we got Orb Side Light Down Light. This combo is a setup tool just like Lance Side Light Nair. You can't team combo as easily with this combo, but it does just set up into a lot of options. Like you got a little four hit right there. You can just like jump Sarah if you just want to like a kill. Obviously, these aren't true follow ups afterwards. But just the positioning alone and how consistent the combo is, this is just such a good combo. Uh, I also just want to give an honorary mention to Side Light Sider. This is also an amazing combo. But I chose Side Light Down Light um, instead because Side Light Down Light can lead to kill options, even though Side Light Sarah is the optimal way to kill. But uh, Side Light D Light is just so consistent at building up damage and giving yourself great positioning to kill off the top, kind of just hitting them up. It's, it's so good. Um, so yeah, th this combo works in every situation, sets up into like GCN SIGs even. Um, downlight, it's so easy to follow up. I'm kind of just going on and on. Side light, D light is just such a good combo. And it's just a bread and butter one you need to know if you play Orb. Next combo, we got Spear, Spear, Downlight, Recovery. So some people might be saying, hey, what about D-Light, Sare? D-Light, Sare is an amazing combo. But D-Light, Recovery, even though it's a little bit harder to input, as you can see, I'm actually fat fingered that that was bad there we go i hit a true there the reason why this combo is better is in 1v1 small maps killing off the top just like on small brawl is going to be very very important so take a look at this there we go so you can see oh that didn't kill okay let's set to 150 so d -Light recovery kills here but d light sarah does not so this combo is better than d -Light Sarah killing. It's definitely harder to input, but you're going to get more reward for hitting it than a d -Light Sarah most of the time, unless you're on the far side of the map or something like that. Another thing with this combo, in earlier health, you can actually lead it into zero to deaths. So you can like d -Light recovery, and then it gives you really good positioning for a neutral air, and then you just hit like another nair or a recovery if you have a jump. There we go. And you can get some really early KOs, which we've seen guys like Stingray do at BCX and whatnot. Oh, I'm bad. 
But uh, yeah, this combo is just so important to learn how to hit consistently. I don't play Spear, so I don't mind not hitting it 10 times in a row, true. But those watching, if you play Spear, learn how to hit this combo every single time. It is so rewarding, but it's also quite difficult. I like to slide my finger from jump to recovery to do it very instantly. But uh, even there, one dodge stream, it's it's a tough input. So please practice this. Um, if you play Spear, this is just a really important combo to know. I'm hitting it one dodge stream right now. There we go. That was true. So yeah, just keep practicing this combo. Really, really important. Next combo on the list, we got Hammer, Downlight, Downer. As you can see, it doesn't really hit like that. So what you have to do is turn it around. And the reason why this combo is on the list is it kind of does two things at different healths. So in early health, you can follow it up with a jump recovery and it can be quite tight. I think you can get it true in a very weird situation, but most consistent, like I think it's like two to uh, four frames in a really early hell. I've seen guys like Java do this combo all the time. Um, just a really good little three piece that you can do. And then you can kind of chase dodge, go for a dare, go for a nair. It just sets up. It's a really nice option. Not that. <laughs> I've been put that twice now. I'm bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it also works without turning it around. If you hit it close to the stack, as you can see here. But if you hit it a little further away, you just got to register that you do. And then you turn it around. This makes this combo like... Oh my frames drop there this makes this combo really consistent so if you hit it stacked you know you're not going to drop the combo very often uh, especially with hammer delight having dropping issues and just that three piece alone is just so important you get a little three piece in early health or if you're in later health take a look at this it actually kills sooner than delight sarah i believe right here delight sarah does not kill but delight downer does kill so this is a combo that's better for killing and better for follow-ups than Downlight Sider. So if you play Hammer, you need to know this combo, and that's why this combo is on this list. Next combo on this list, we got Scythe. Uh, yeah, Scythe doesn't have a lot of combos, but guess what? It's got Nair Ser, even though my frame just dropped there. Nair, oh, two dollar frame to schedule. There we go. True combo, by the way. And this is such a good combo because you can keep following up. You can go Nair, Ser, Nair, Ser. Let me put them in zero. I'll kind of show you. This is like in an early health. Nair, Ser, Nair, Ser, Nair. <laughs> I didn't have a jump. <laughs> but you see what I mean. And there's not that many true combos on site. But this one you can hit in a lot of different situations. The only thing I'm going to say about this combo is it depends on defense. I believe if they've got like lower defense, they get out of the combo. I could be wrong on that. But it's, it's weird. It depends on strength and defense stances and like stats and whatnot. I think just defense, not strength. But uh, it's definitely just a weird one. As you can see, it works pretty well on zero. But some other characters it might not work against. But it will be one dodge frame. Um, but this combo, great for damage buildup. Puts you in a great position to be able to hit a recovery to kill. And it's one of the few combos on the entire kit. And this one is one that you can actually use in neutral. You hit one nooch, you hit an end light, and light nair. If they don't have a dodge, that's only one dodge frame, right? End light nair being one dodge frame is crazy. So end light nair ser is one dodge frame, if not true. So end light nair ser. There. End light nair. Look at that. Only one dodge frame for a three hit right there. So th this combo is great for setting up for killing. It's great for building up damage. And again, yeah, one of the only true combos on the kit that you can actually land pretty consistently in your games. And, and this combo, again, it just sets up great for strings. It's one of the best combos in the game just because of that alone. Uh, it does only work really at like earlier-ish health, as you can kind of see. The Nair just sends a little far away, so the combo stops working. But uh, still, the three-piece kind of just sets up neutral air. Or end light nair still works for a little while so uh that part of the combo is still really good and that's why this combo is on the list and the last combo on this list but not the least is cannon downlight downer this combo is so good because it sets up for that cannon zero to death obviously it doesn't work at that health but as you can see here downlight there then you like i'm bad downlight there catch a dodge and then you hit like a nice little three piece right so like let's say they dodge i don't know let's say they dodge to the left there we go. That was like all confirmed from one dodge read just because of downlight there. That is like crazy there. You have to be like fast enough. Yeah, look how crazy that is. Oh my god. And not just that, it does like pretty good damage too. Here, I'm just gonna turn this off. There we go. Like, look at this 12 and 14. That's like pretty solid damage. And it just puts you in a great position to continue. 
So you delay light there, see how they dodge, and you can like side light there. But yeah, this combo is just a great setup tool, sets up into neutral light and tons more. I will say honorable mention to D-Light neutral air. Obviously it doesn't work in this health, but uh, that's a great killing combo. I just think D-Light Nair sets up for kills. Like as you can see here, it's still gonna set up, but it also is really good in early health. So it's a bit more well-rounded than D-Light Nair. And that's why I think this combo is one of the best in the game. It's also crazy consistent. No way to get out of it. And look, it sets up into end light, then you edge guard. It's just a really good setup tool. The hitboxing on downlight is also massive. Like, look at that. You're not going to miss that attack very easily. Um, so it, it's just a great little combo. Very, very consistent, as I've said. Sets up. It's on this list for a reason. So, uh, yeah. Guys, that's the 10 best combos in Brawlhalla. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which combo on this list is your favorite? Which one do you think is the best combo on this list? I actually don't know. If I were to guess, I don't know. Maybe the boots one because it has it's so dynamic. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching this video on Neutralix. Check out Coslix.com if you want some coaching. And I'll see you guys all later.